Tonight, I'm Walter Perez in the news. Intense fighting continues during the second day of Israel's war against Hamas. The full scale response from the Israeli military following that deadly attack by Hamas. It's six o'clock. The big story on Action News. More than 1,100 people are dead. Thousands more are injured after the Israeli government declared war following an unprovoked attack. At least 700 people have been reportedly killed in Israel. More than 400 people have been killed in Gaza. Americans are among those killed or taken hostage. That's according to Israeli Minister of Strategic Affairs. Israel is now pounding Gaza with airstrikes, setting the stage for a massive military response. And many people here in our area with personal connections to Israel are speaking out about the situation in Israel. In fact, some of them are currently there, while others have family in Israel. Action News reporter Katie Catro joins us live from the Ben Franklin Parkway with much more on this story. Katie. Walter, we spoke with two women who gave a personal account about what they're going through. One woman has family who lives in Israel, while the other is currently there. We're fighting against people who has no rules, and they're doing inhumane things. 22-year-old Eden Angry sits with her hands over her face, sobbing. She has family living in Israel as Hamas continues its unprecedented attack. I've never seen anything like that, getting all of those videos and all those parents that are terrified for their kids' lives. While she has a personal connection to the attacks, she is urging people in the Delaware Valley to follow what is happening in Israel. You remember 9-11? Um, a terrorist attack that people will forever remember? That's how I feel about what happened yesterday. We've never seen anything like it. I've seen people and, and women of my age being kidnapped and raped and all the videos I've seen and people being decapitated. And <laughs> While Ankri's heart is with family in Israel, Tamika Collins is in Jerusalem on a religious tour. She spoke with us about what she's seeing and hearing. We heard a bomb and we heard a siren. So then we had to drop down and keep our heads down. It, it, I guess it was like 60 of us. She, like many Americans, want to come home. Collins is concerned about her flight scheduled to leave Tuesday now that airports in Israel have canceled flights. Scared. We're very scared. I'm scared now. Um, just terrified. We heard bombing. We heard rockets. Um, and then we're hearing uh, all these sirens. And Philadelphia officers have been asked to make increased checks around synagogues and mosques in the city due to the heightened tensions in the Middle East. Reporting live along the Parkway, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Walter. Very scary situation for sure. All right, thank you, Katie.